Well, my kids told me I need to trim up my beard, so let me see if this old trick still works. No, no, that was too much. Let me try it again. Oh, that's better. Perfect. Just perfect. I was working on my garage project today and I got the uh, got the uh, tension rod up there and the cables mounted to the pulleys and I even got the spring all installed and the correct tension on the spring so the garage door goes up and down now only ran into one problem <laughs> putting up the uh, the spring and getting it tightened up right was easy. The hard part was when you're working outside, be careful for the red wasps. Those suckers mean business. I got him though. I chased his little ass down and I killed him. I stood over him and laughed at him while he took his last breath. It still hurts like hell though. Good grief. Yeah, this is what happens when you let kids have fun. Oh, never give kids the freedom to play. Then they think they can just play outside whenever they want to. You know, kids. Give them an inch, they'll take a mile. What you doing, boy? That's not my track. Well, that's mean. preface this with the fact that I am neither a Republican or a Democrat. In fact, I'm not really active in politics. Um, with all the mudslinging that goes on every election, it's just, it gets ridiculous. It really does. Um, I'm no fan of Donald Trump. Um, never have been. But it, you know, even Democrats now are admitting that Hillary was would have been a huge mistake. Hillary was not the right person for President of the United States. That would have been a horrible nightmare. Um, so out of the choices that we had, Donald Trump, he won. And uh, what gets me is that liberals, the Democrats, still can't accept the fact that he won. Um, what gets me is um, kids that are being sent home from school, people being fired from work for wearing uh, hats or shirts that say, Make America Great Again. I mean, think about what you're protesting here. Those words, Make America Great Again. Do you seriously want to live in, in a country that's not great? 
I mean, how can those words be considered hate speech? Make America great again. I mean, forget about Donald Trump. Forget about, you know, whining because you didn't win the election. Think about those words. Make America great. Who wouldn't want to make America great? I mean, we live here, don't we? I mean, what would you rather see on a hat? Make America a rotting cesspool? I mean, go print up some hats and say that. See how many you sell. Make America great again. Sounds like a good idea to me.